What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we are going to push the boundaries of uh, what is frowned upon or accepted in the trading card hobbyist world. We are going to crack into some MetaZoo. Um, full disclosure, I have never opened MetaZoo. I own zero MetaZoo cards, but I saw this Cryptid Nation second edition like hanger pack at Walmart as I was getting groceries today. So I thought that I would grab it. It was like 14 bucks after tax. And so I kind of want to give it a shot. I've actually never seen um, MetaZoo be opened. Never opened any myself. Again, as I mentioned a moment ago. Um, but this is pretty cheap. And so why not? So this, to my knowledge, is Cryptid Nation, but second edition, not like first edition or Kickstarter. Um, so... These cards are probably pretty inexpensive, but that's cool. I mean, I'm just happy that happy that I can open some packs for hopefully pretty cheap. So um, this is Babe the Blue Ox. Not sure what that one is and not sure what that one is, but maybe we'll pull some of these and find out for ourselves. Um, it did also come with a little promo card, so we will check that out. All right. Oh, this must be that little fella from the pack. Right? Is that the Piazza bird? Is that what that's called? Piazza bird? That's pretty cool. I mean, the centering on this thing is neat. The hollow pattern is solid. It looks okay. Like, that doesn't disgruntle me to look at. So, I know that some people have some pretty heavy opinions for or against MetaZoo um, and perhaps like the company's intentions with like manufactured rarity and things like that. But I don't really want to judge what's going on until I kind of experience the product for myself. Um, I know nothing about the company. I don't really have a dog in this race, but <laughs> I mean, wow, I've never explained so much about why I'm opening a pack of cards. Hopefully, I'm hoping this is fun to be honest with you. So let's find out. We've got Cactus Cat. We've got a health potion. I might just open them like this actually. Um, we've got Poison Arrow, Snow Snake, Dragon's Breath. That's cool. That kind of goes with our Piazza Bird. Hopefully I'm saying that right. We've got Hide Behind, the Spookster. Oh, nice, Hodag. So this looks like perhaps a reverse hollow. I don't really know, but this is actually from the pack art that we pulled. So that's kind of neat, Hodag. We've got a Nighttime, so this looks like a land card perhaps. And then we've got a Forest Aura, nice, okay. So this is definitely our best pull so far. I don't know if this is considered a hollow or a reverse hollow. I mean, that's kind of cool. I like the way that thing looks. It's not bad. It's just like kind of a, I think we'll open the Piazza Bird first and save Babe the Blue Ox for last because that's kind of my favorite out of these three. Um, I think that that Hodag card is like, it's interesting. I think it looks cool. I'm glad I own a MetaZoo card now, <laughs> you know. I don't know, comment down below if you've lasted three minutes into this, as I'm struggling to open a booster pack. If you've lasted three minutes into this opening, um, tell me your experience, experience, if any, with MetaZoo. What do you think or feel about the company? Um, I am pretty active in uh, Squeak's Discord and, you know, there's not a whole lot of talk about it there. I know Rusty from TCA Gaming has done a little bit with MetaZoo stuff. I know, People have like positive and negative feelings about it. So just like anything else really, Matlocks, that's kind of an ugly card. Um, Tripodero, nice. Enfield Monster. Invisibility, that's cool. Scattershot. Ooh, Lake Worth Monster. That's pretty cool. Nice. So I'm assuming that this is a more common rarity, perhaps guaranteed in every pack. Um, we've got ground and lightning aura. Cool. So maybe, uh, I think maybe like, I guess let me know in the comments down below, please. But may, is this the ideal hollow setup? And this is just like a reverse foil. I mean, that's sort of what it appears as to me, but I like that. I like how they just kind of barely got the image on there and you can mostly just see the hollow though. I like that. Cool. Okay, so we'll open the Babe the Blue Ox pack last um it'd be cool to pull babe the blue ox it would also be cool to pull like i don't know if like a wendigo is in this set but that's always been like a cool little cryptid creature um bigfoot 
I don't know if that's in this set, but Bigfoot is one that I know that's cool. Um, I think Mothman is the one that people chase, but I don't know. Hopefully we just pull a card that looks neat. Frozen, <laughs> frozen people, that's cool. Pass Trap, that's a good art. For Alligator. Balancing Beam. Not gonna attempt that one, but it's, it kinda looks like Majin Buu. Power Up Green. Oh, Mermaid Scales, nice. So that one actually is like a full hollow on the card. Really cool, I like that. Nice, we've got a farm. There's no place like home, and we've got a lightning aura. Neat. Okay, so it looks like, you know, don't shout at me for not sleeving these up right away, but um, I mean, they're just second edition cards. I don't think that these are valuable, but I don't know. We got Lake Worth Monster. This looks like a more common hollow foil since we got two like that. We also pulled the Hodag. And lastly, we pulled Mermaid Scales in like the um, normal, ex like the hollow pattern that I expected to pull. So that's really cool. All right, guys. Well, that was a pretty short and sweet video. Um, overall, I think that MetaZoo was kind of cool to open. I like that none of the packs felt boring. Um, I think that like the simplicity of cards like farm, like I like that. That's cool. I mean, right, yeah, I don't know. I mean, none of these cards are really upsetting. I think it throws me off that this is just for alligator, but white and eating pizza. That's not my favorite, but like, I think that this is, this is cool. It's sort of like charming to open. The artworks are interesting. The red border is different from what one would expect. Um, yeah, so overall, I think that MetaZoo is interesting. I don't think that I would like go broke buying MetaZoo cards, but I might. You might catch me open opening some packs in the future for sure. So, hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. Um, again, comment down below your experience with MetaZoo. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you indifferent like myself? Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.